bad to start early. You can see temperatures are warmer than we sat yesterday. We're in the mid 60s in some spots, low 60s in Hubbard, Youngstown, even in the 50s in Elwood City if you head over to Lawrence County. Well, now I am tracking a change as we go throughout the next couple of hours. The other thing is dew points are fairly high, so our, it is sticky outside, fairly humid. Now, with that moisture in the air, we've got a little bit of warmth in there. We've also got this line of showers and storms tracking towards us. It's been moving through western Ohio towards central Ohio. The time that I'm expecting it to arrive to us, not the front end of those showers, those will begin over the next probably two hours, but the strongest of those showers and maybe some gusty winds around 1030. Now the threat for severe uh, weather with this line is low, but I'm not ruling it out because this has triggered some watches and warnings through central Ohio. So it is dying down a little bit. I'll point that out as well. You can see these older lightning strikes in gray. This is one indication that they've been dying down is that there are fewer new lightning strikes that are coming up with this line. And it's not the last of it for your Sunday. Here's a look. This is really just the front end of it. We're going to be dealing with kind of off and on showers and storms as we go throughout the day. This system continues to march its way to the east. So off and on showers is expected for your Sunday afternoon and evening especially. Taking a look here on Future Tracker, I'm going to time this out hour by hour, giving you the best idea of when it will arrive. There's the front end of those showers, and then as we work our way towards 1030 or so, you see these wind gusts pick up a little bit into the 20s, maybe 30s. You could see a few more tree limbs down with this. Going throughout the afternoon, there are those continuing scattered showers and storms. Temperatures will be working their way towards the 80 degree mark, but not as warm as we saw yesterday. When it comes to the evening hours, we'll continue to see some trailing showers, maybe a few rumbles of thunder. When it comes to the severe outlook today, what I am tracking are mainly non severe thunderstorms and some showers, but there is an isolated risk to see a stronger storm, mainly in the southern portion of our viewing area, which you could see with that system as it continues its way east. It is a little stronger the further south you head down. So let's track uh, Monday out, your Memorial Day on Future Tracker here. We're kicking off the day in the mid to upper 50s, so a comfortable start much more sun and a lot less threat for any rain showers. A lot of parades tomorrow. I've been saying it. They're going to kick off right around 10 to noon. It's going to be on the cooler side, right around the low 70s. But I would say grab the sunglasses. You're going to need them and you can hold off on the umbrella. And then later in the night, overnight Monday into Tuesday, that is when our next threat for showers and storms arrives. Now these could again pack a punch with some gustier winds, some heavier downpours. Tuesday, not a washout, but I am tracking some off and on showers as we go throughout the morning and the afternoon. We will work our way back towards 80, not as warm as we saw yesterday. Now taking a look at our severe threat for Tuesday, there is a chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms. A few of those could be stronger and maybe some gusty winds. So packing a punch on Tuesday, once again overnight Monday into Tuesday really. When we look at Trouble Tracker today and into later this evening, the biggest threat are going to be these rain and storms really just causing some inconvenience for you more than anything. I know a lot of people are hoping to probably get outside once again after all that sunshine we had yesterday and this morning it continues to be humid but tomorrow things really pan out a lot better here's a look at your seven day forecast tomorrow you see that 40 percent chance of rain but that is overnight as you saw on future tracker there at least later in the night if not overnight Going into Tuesday, I showed you those showers and storms with the threat of some stronger ones in there. Wednesday, continuing the unsettled pattern as we work our way back to the mid 80s. And then we taper things off when it comes to rain showers and temperatures become more mild. Friday's looking pretty sunny, same for the weekend, but there is an isolated chance to see some showers and storms.